My name is Tony Seish. I'm the director of the Ash Center for Democratic Governance and Innovation at the Harvard Kennedy School. We've been working with OpenGov, Seamus, and colleagues uh, now over three of these uh, different uh, Hack for Congress events, Cambridge, San Francisco, and now in Washington, DC. Well, what's happening here today is really amazing. Uh, the enthusiasm, the energy levels are extraordinary. And essentially what people are doing is they're forming groups uh, where they try and come up with a solution uh, around a different set of challenges, whether it's funding, whether it's representation, uh, for methods that might actually help us improve the functioning of Congress. Well, I think it's, I think in terms of solving problems in Congress, it's. It's a different avenue, it's a different route, it perhaps brings in a different set of people. Uh, obviously these are people who are very uh, familiar with and very motivated by what technology can do. And so in that sense it's probably a slightly younger crowd. And it's a crowd that really want to look forward uh, in terms of what might be good, realizable technological solutions to resolving some problems that seem to be intractable within Congress. What we have is a very diverse group here. I mean, people who are really impassioned by the desire to engage in politics, to hope that Congress will function better than it has. Um, there's no necessary partisan nature to it. It's open to anybody from any particular uh, walk of life or in terms of political belief. But it combines together people who have a set of skills of trying to understand what might be uh, feasible, what might be realizable within the context of the way Congress is operating at the moment. But it then also pulls in people who can understand what technological solutions would be, how to put together kinds of apps or put together programs that uh, either Congress people or their staffers could use. So it draws across a range of skills and then of course one of the fundamental skills you need is to think, well, what is a real problem you're trying to uh, deal with? And then someone who can think about strategy to devise the particular solution that you want to come up with. So it's fun, it's exciting, and it's, uh, it's a different crowd. Well, what we're hoping is the solutions that have come out, not just of today, but from all three of the events uh, that we've staged, that we'll be able to present these to members of Congress, to um, their staffers, and that if it has traction, they might actually push to take this up within the workings of Congress. So that's one very uh, particular deliverable that we're looking at. But beyond that, it's really beginning to take off and create a community um, that are beginning to hack for this and hack for that, not necessarily Congress, but dealing with a range of uh, problems within the political administrative system, uh, whether it might be state level, it could be city level, it could be problem driven. So secondly, we're hoping it'll kind of uh, build on this kind of wellspring of enthusiasm that's coming up for these sorts of events. And then thirdly, we also expect, and we've seen that, that even those that will not be presenting, uh, maybe in Washington on May 12th, are probably gonna carry on uh, toying with, experimenting, refining uh, the suggestions that they've come up with. Well, it's a difficult question of how they might actually get to the implementation stage. I think there's two, two sets of challenges. One is, of course, the question of do they really understand sufficiently rules, regulations, processes within Congress that they might have a fantastic solution, but there might be some arcane regulation in Congress or practice which simply uh, precludes that. Uh, so that, that's sort of one side of the ledger. The other side, though, is really getting traction within Congress itself, and that, I think, has been the difficulty to date, really getting people in Congress and their staffers to understand that these are ways that's going to improve the quality of their work. So in that sense, the other challenge really is finding a champion who's going to take these on and really explain to their colleagues why this work is important, how it's going to improve the quality of the functioning of Congress.